Well, as you can tell, we got a little bit of snow overnight. So I'll be stuck indoors today. I already shoveled the driveway. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Minnesota. We're expecting uh, temperatures not to get above zero until Tuesday. So let me find something to do. Okay, I thought I'd share some of the stuff that I've purchased on eBay recently. One is I uh, was looking for some heavy duty wire I can use for my solar projects. Yeah, <clears throat> so I thought I'd look into this landscape wire, which is two conductor. And I found this stuff. Normally, you buy solar panel wiring, you're going to pay like a dollar a foot, sometimes two dollars a foot. Well, this stuff was landscape wire 12 2, and it's got about 30 conductors per, or 30 strands per conductor, which is really what you want to have for stranded you want to have a lot of stranded wire not not go with the solid wire because electro, electrons travel on top on the skin of the wire not not down the center of it so anyway got this stuff for like 25 cents a foot I got a hundred feet of it the guy basically took a 500 foot spool and uh, cut it up into hundred foot pieces and we're selling it so I'm very happy with that deal The next is a uh, solar trimetric, which many people probably know what this is. It's a, uh, a, ba a battery monitor. Also got this on eBay. Used item, but uh, very, you know, really good shape. <clears throat> These are about a hundred sixty dollars new. It's the trimetric twenty twenty. I like buying used stuff. It's a form of recycling instead of going new. If I'm convinced that it's not uh, not in terrible shape, so. I won't go through the details of this, i just kind of show you what, what, what's in the front and what's in the back of these. A lot of times you're surprised at how little, little there is in these things when you look at them. So it comes with a, two circuit boards <coughs> and a connector that you basically screw in your wires. <coughs> this happened to come with a box for it so that you can mount right onto your, your panel, which is kind of nice. And in order to uh, in order to measure the current, you have what's have you need to have what's called a shunt, which is basically a very uh, low uh, a low resistor, but it's very highly calibrated. And so you put that in line with your with either the uh, well with the battery, so that all the heavy current can go through there. This thing is rated at uh, 500 amps through it and uh, it wires up to a couple conductor contacts on the trimetric and that gives allows the trimetric to do a very accurate uh, calculation of what the amps are that are flowing and then it uses that to <coughs> calculate the, uh, the amount of uh, amp, amp hours that are being stored into the battery as well as amp hours that are coming out of the battery so got to have one of those calibrated shunts. Now it came with full instructions <clears throat> so when I get to the point of using it I will uh, go into a little bit further. The third item uh, I've got was this small charge controller. It was only fifteen dollars including the shipping. 12 volt, 15 amp. You probably have seen these. This is also a refurbished item from a company called Green Energies. A uh, very, very nice uh, uh, vendor on eBay. Let me open it up for you. Okay, you can see it comes with the instruction manual on top. Let me take it out of the packaging here. All right, you can see it's a, it's actually a nice metal box. Couple screws that you can mount it to the wall. It's got a panel on, load on, light. Let's take a look inside. Okay, here's what it looks like inside the units. <coughs> Pretty simple. 
kind of what you expect some terminals to connect up the panel which would be the solar panel the two terminals in the middle connect up the uh, battery and then the two terminals on the right to do a dump load of some type and then the blue the blue devices are relays and then the uh, one integrated circuit to basically uh, sense the voltage and uh, <clears throat> determine whether it should allow solar panel current to flow to the battery or through over to the dump load. Now according to the box it has a, uh, a maximum charge current 15 amps it has a, a trip at 13 and a half volts for the high temp overcharge and at 11 and a half for the low end. It has a reverse polarity protection so you can't connect it up wrong and it's a it's an all metal enclosure. I actually had to take off screws screws off the side here. So anyway looks, looks pretty uh, pretty good for $15 including the shipping for 15 amps so I encourage you to check them out on eBay. All right, and the last thing I want to do say is <clears throat> I obviously knew it was going to be terrible weather this weekend, so besides doing some of those projects, I went to the library. There's a lot of good books at your library on renewable energy and so forth. You get to, So these were the, basically the three main ones that, that they had that I wanted to browse through. Most of these, you know, I know the basic information, but sometimes I pick up stuff in here, like on battery maintenance or whatever that... You might not learn through YouTube videos or, or other things you read. So there's one, Renewable Energy Handbook, Power in the Wind. What I'm hoping to learn here is a little bit more about the airfoils and, uh, and blade design. And then along with that, Energy Basics. Paul Geip is a, a world-renowned expert in wind power. And so I thought I'd take a look at one of his books, see how he is as, as an author. So anyway, I'll be busy. I hope you have a good weekend.